Hey YouTube, and today I'm going to do a video on this little lens. Now this is the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter, and uh, can't wait to dive in with it. So let's get started. Now this lens is the second lens I ever picked up. I was doing band promos, and I just couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting the the close wideness of it you know like um, I was using a 35 millimeter and it was just straight on and it looked so boring and I needed a lens that was gonna catch everybody from a close perspective and uh, a buddy of mine actually suggested that he was using a 14 millimeter and I was like 14 millimeter all right so I know what I'm looking for now and this is back when I first started I didn't know anything about photography yet I had done a few shows and that was about it. Um, so I picked up this lens. This lens goes a little pricey. This is a $800 lens, but it was so worth picking up. It's changed everything. I I love landscape. Landscape is my favorite thing to shoot, and this lens makes it all possible. The only drawback for like shooting in low light is this is an f-stop. Uh, the f-stop is at four, so. That's the only thing to watch out for. Um, but this is great for landscape. This is pretty good for crowd shots if you're doing it with the right lighting and flash, which I've used many times. I'll show you some pictures on this that uh, that I've taken that this lens really pulls out. Now, this thing is very sharp. It's a super sharp lens, even for um, an adjustable lens. Um, it's still pretty sharp, which is surprising. A lot of times, primes are sharper than uh, adjustable lenses. And, uh, yeah, it's a great little lens. It's very compact. It's not very heavy. Um, it is a crop lens. It's not a full frame, unfortunately, but uh, it still works on a full frame camera. Yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments and uh, sure to answer away. Thanks, guys.